Plugin City was a method of allowing people to grow their dwelling with themselves. And the servicing of their city didn't have to be ground-based. Unlike traditional existing cities, which are basically two-dimensional, with buildings extruded up from the ground plan, we were looking at an alternative way of actually putting the city together, where it would be possible to have open spaces at upper levels. It developed over about three years, actually. The first version was done in 1964. In the standard plug-in city, you stick up a megastructure which contains the access systems, diagonal lifts, and the servicing elements that brings up food and takes out rubbish and brings up water and so on. You then add to that a substructure which can carry prefabricated dwellings, which we call capsules. You'd use the construction industry to actually do the construction, but the planning would be done by the occupants of the house. And these vary in size, but also can be replaced. So you're getting a lot of variety and change. And as one family changes, it adds a capsule or takes a piece off or changes the aesthetic of it. So it lifts the city off the ground and it enjoys space in a different way because there are certain pieces of enclosed space that then become public areas. Then even the megastructure that you hold the dwellings on can start to sprout up and become relatively high-rise and contain more public open spaces inside it. It has all sorts of implications of, of growth and change, which I think was very contemporary with that period. It was done at the time when our day job was including prefabricated housing components. It was also, in a funny way, looking at prefabrication and saying, come on, this doesn't have to be boring. It can be quite romantic and quite exciting. <laughs>